What's up guys, JV2017 here, and we have, uh, let's see, this is the second Vice case, and I'm not really sure what the name of the case is yet, but we will definitely get that, get to that, uh, when we do. So, the setup, ooh, very specific. Um, I'm playing on my new Xbox, and there's really not much difference in the performance of it, uh, if you guys don't, didn't know, I got the Red Ring of Death. Ooh! After uh, three and a half years of using the same Xbox. So, pretty reliable, I gotta you say. Like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience. Humbling? Hmm. Interesting. Wonder why uh, we are here. Oh, there's a boxing match. Make you a sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. Oh my gosh. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight though. That guy Lucky was Lime, about to bloody. Take a from an up and coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Ooh, he's betting. <laughs> They're both black. Let's get a ringside seat. What's I don't get it. Oh, no they're not. Didn't they, didn't they both look like oh my god from the distance they did completely hmm. oh there's Mickey Cohen oh 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 he's about to get owned he's about to lose fifty bucks on him oh oh <laughs> you see that chair. That's awesome. Well, Roy Earl just lost 50 bucks. That son of a bitch Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. What? God damn you, Albert! You get out here right now! Step back, LAPD. Yeah, LAPD dogs. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro. I'm his manager. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? Yeah. We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! Oh, he was supposed that to... That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. Yeah. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. Oh, boy. He's out the window. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. They never look around. Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. Open it. Hmm. We got some names. Harry Mervyn Ray. There's a phone number we can run by R and I. Plus a bunch of names and odds. Okay. You're not the only one who likes a flutter, Roy. I see this tape is very significant. Uh, not really. That was just a joke. Do not spit on the floor. <laughs> what a great sign! I love that sign. That's the story to my life. Story to my life. This is boxing glove? No, nope. insignificant. No good to me. No good to your mom, Phelps. That's what I thought, sir. Oh, what is this? No, not that. Oh, it's another boxing glove. Screw you. Okay. Um. Ooh, a newspaper cutscene. Let's watch this. Alienist Fontaine. Courtney. You look troubled. I'm in a jam. Doctor. Yeah, you are. Can I help, Courtney? Hmm. Is it money? No, no, doctor. That's okay. Do I have your professional confidence? Whatever you say, we'll never leave this room. Yeah, right. I talked some of the guys in my old unit into doing something, and it's gone wrong. I guess I did it for the wrong reasons. For short-term gain. Monies. We came home from China. On the Cool Bridge. 
the morphine robbery. That was us. Oh boy. I thought I could get the guys a fair share. Some sort of benefit for the sacrifices that they made in the war. Those guys deserve it, Doctor. Oh, I'm sure they do, Courtney. But the deserving aren't always rewarded. Oh, okay. Tell me about it, Doc. Uh, we shifted our stuff onto this mob-connected guy, and it's been turning up all over town. It wasn't meant to be like this. The presumption was rather naive, Courtney. Yep. I know that now, Doctor. But people are dying. Hmm. Might I venture a few questions? You might venture, sure. sir. Do you What? Are you kidding me? Are you? Oh my gosh. Alrighty, guys. So, yeah. This is the second time this game is frozen. And I don't really... I'm not really that pissed at it, but it is kind of screwing up with these recordings. But we are... We will, uh... Return. And, you know, I'm not going to actually show this, even though I'll be missing a clue, because, um, we're not going to watch that newspaper again. That's retarded. Towels cleaned for only five cents. Here's the window. To the window. To the wow. All right, that's where he went out. Um, anything in the latrines? No. Cool, cool. Anything uh, suspicious in the uh, bathroom here? Some suspicious towels. Some suspicious clothing in the, in the corner. I guess not. Let's go ahead and call an R and uh, call R and I, and uh, see what you they can find uncover. You better that and you bring him to me. I feel bad Whoa. too, Mickey. He guaranteed me he would take the flop. I guarantee that you will be fish food if you don't bring me. You're a gangster. Roy, you out of pocket too, Mickey. Seems that way. Don't worry about it. My boys are out looking for him. Well, you'd better call them off. This is a police matter now. If yeah, anything happens to Hammond, I'll testify that you made threats against him. Who's the Greyhound? He's a frisky one, isn't he? Cole Phelps. Mickey Cohen. I know who he is, Roy. I, uh, met his brother-in-law. Uh, I killed his brother-in-law. I think I did. I think I did. Wasn't he Larry the Fink? The mixture pretty scared back there. The mixture. Yeah, what a great name. Wouldn't you love to be nicknamed the mixture? Oof. I mean, that's just like one of my number one dreams. Where is this telephone, sir? Oh, right here. Well. Okay, well, we're gonna make some important Operator, telephone calls. Message for KGPL. You know, I may have already mentioned this, but there's only one downfall to the graphics in this game. It's the hair. How could I help, detective? It's not. I need an address for the following phone number. It's just not AL345. good enough. I don't know. The address for the phone number is the Hotel El Mar, 6294. El Mar means the sea. Thanks. Hotel of the Sea. You know the or place. Or the Sea Hotel. Flop house. Flop house. What does flop exactly mean, though? Hmm. Might be code for flop. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Eh, I guess I will drive Roy since you're such a wuss. You seem we'll to have a pretty car. cozy relationship with Cohen and Stampanato. Do I know a hint of reprimand in your tone, detective? Yeah. Talking to gangsters comes with the turf. You should try out Mickey's place. He's got a haberdasher's up on Sunset. See if he can get you out of those old man's clothes that you slink around in. What? It's a front for his illegal activity. Old man's clothes. Excuse me. That, but he does carry some very sharp suits. If it's okay with you, I'll stick with Brooks Brothers. Yeah, exactly. Stick with some cool Cole Phelps style suits. I picked this suit. What a, what a, what a bastard making fun of my suit. It's not an old man suit, it's a hoss boss suit. And Cole Phelps yeah, is a hoss boss. Want, LAPD. What do I want? inquiries into the whereabouts of an Albert Hammond. No one here by that name. You sure? Sure, I'm sure. This isn't the sort of place where people use their real names. Take a look at the register if you don't believe me. 
Okay. All right. Okay, so look for prominent Tommies. That should narrow it down. Prominent Tommies, but uh, I'm so Clark Gable. That's an actor. Is Winston Churchill? <laughs> what? Okay, these are fun. Um, Orson Welles. That's a good one. Uh, Shirley Temple. That's a funny one. Danny Kaye. That's a good one. Um, Clark Gable. I like that one. Winston Churchill's Winston good. Winston Churchill. A very patriotic Englishman is staying in room 207. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Bulldog. Even at a flop house, Adley can't get out from his shadow. Okay, we go we going up? Yeah, we're going up. Winston Churchill. That was really funny. That I really enjoyed all of that. Excuse me, sir? Did you want something? I'll pound you. What's this bunk of? Excuse me? No one can understand you because you talk like an idiot. Okay. We're done. Okay. Door's unlocked. Oh boy. Look at all these pills. Looks oh like boy. Western bomb. Union. Transactions. Oh no, it's a telegram. He must be heading home. You know, I hope he makes it. They had tele telegrams back then? No I was about to say telephones. That would have been stupid. Okay, what's over here? Half of a ticket to somewhere. To that thing you like. I guess a fighter has plenty of time on his hands between bouts. Matinee movie, 12 p.m. Yeah, that's pretty much a matinee. Chocolates! Somebody special? I didn't see anyone in his corner at the fight. Albert. Albert's the white guy, right? Yeah, he's the one that won and threw the... He was supposed to throw the fight, but he didn't. Because he's a brash. Instigate. Ooh. Adrian Black's product of choice. Seems like a lifetime ago. Yeah. That is so okay. Ornells. I like tapping on stuff. It's really fun. Candy Edwards. Candy has expensive taste. Albert has his work cut out for him. Candy Edwards Candy. sounds like a porn star's Candy name. Edwards, the lady who filled out this coupon. It really does. I won't lie about that. Looks like Albert has been doing some homework. Eleven grand would be a nice little nest egg. Yeah. Eleven grand is a right. shit ton of money. Let's go after his girl. See if that gets us any closer. Yeah, let's go pay a visit to Candy with her big boobs right. that let's she probably has that are that fake. Did they did they have fake boobs back in the f late 40s? Does anybody know? This is this is set in 48. I really I really like to know that. That'd be a fun fact that I can tell people at parties. You know? Did you know you that you they now? had Where are we plastic going? surgery in the 1940s? Did you really did you know that? Sorry if you don't like that accent, but that's that's really my roots. That's that's how everybody around here talks in Texas. So we also Marines. wear cowboy we hats. Did. Standard training. It's true. I can't imagine you ever played dirty. The only prize for taking a fall was a thousand push-ups. Yeah, and we also ride horses. We use lassos. Um, we all when uh when someone's about to go have sex, we're like, get her done. And um, let's see what else. It's a lot more. We all we eat barbecue all the time. We actually do though. That's I mean, barbecue's really good. TBH dog. All right, let's go talk to, to Candy. Candy. I, I want to talk to Candy. We're looking for Candy Edwards. Apartment seven. You take the outside stairs by the parking lot and turn left at the top. Me, 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 me. Italian me. guy. Italian guy? Yeah. Sweezy type. Gave his name as Carlo. I didn't Carlo. like the look of him, but Candy has some funny friends. Thanks. This candy broad must be as sweet as she sounds. All these gentlemen callers. Yep. Okay, where 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 did they say she was? Okay, yeah, I'll follow Roy. 
You remember that, uh... That... That commercial where it was like, Roy! Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Don't cut her. Oh, man. Assault. <laughs> and then he continues... And he goes and fights me. Not at all. It's not gonna end well for you at all. That's right, son! Like three one two punches and you're out. Oh my god, candy's no, not candy. How cold, but breathing. Oh wow. Give her a minute. Take a look oh, around. Oh, I can uns I can inspect an unconscious body. Sweet. What up, bro? I'm touching your face, dog. There's nothing on your face, dog. Guess I shouldn't touch it anymore. Okay. George Hardly Ray Wallace Mervyn Harry. As Hammond. What are the odds on them all being bookmakers? Um, pretty high, I guess. Um, you know, maybe. Why are you asking me all these questions, Cole? Oh boy. Master weapon. Oh, yeah, this Italians is a switchblade. A real man uses his fists or a gun. All these greases, greasing up the hair. Inspect his arms. I really don't think there should be anything on his arms. I mean, he was just alive, so... Or, he's still alive, he's just unconscious. Because I knocked him out with the old Cole Phelps charm. That's what it was. The Cole Phelps charm. She's leaving town. Cool, Phelps. Very observant, sir. Alright, what else do we have here? Uh, looks like a train ticket. In a state coach's ticket, Single bus ticket. ticket. One way. To Akron. I guess there isn't a lot for Albert in Ohio. Or this. Escania sails from New York. Cunard Line. Escania. Okay. That's all the clues. Take so, a seat. Someone's Edwards. been set up. We though. have some questions for you to answer. Candy. I haven't done anything wrong. Ever? I find that pretty hard to believe. Yep. You look like a slutty McSlut. Can you answer some questions now, Miss Edwards? Sure, I've had worse. I'll shake it off. Eh. Eh. Not really what I was expecting. We're trying to track down Albert Hammond. We have reason to believe he might be in danger. Do you know where he is? No, I don't. I'm over Albert. I haven't seen him. Oh, haven't you? Ooh, I'm. Mm, mm, you are not telling the truth. Okay, so I'm over Al, but I haven't seen Al. But um, Albert wasn't over you, bitch. You're lying, Candy. You were in his hotel room. He came back after the fight, and you weren't there. What happened? Yep. You can't prove that I was in the room. Shit, I, I don't think I can. Fuck. Okay. Damn it. No, no, no. Wait. Yeah, I can. Yeah. How do you think we found you, Candy? You wrote your name and address on a coupon. Look, Albert Get owned. Was to take a fall. We were all supposed to make a little money out of it. But Albert got too goddamn stubborn. Said his pride was all he had left. So I told him, shove it. Let's see his pride yep. keep him warm at night. So you walked out Ayo. before the fight. Yes, I did. What's the problem? I didn't take anything. I got did that one Terry, right. Mervin, or Ray mean anything to you? Could be anybody. How the hell would I know? You're looking around. You are just a uh, nappy-headed. Nah, uh, <laughs> not gonna say anymore. Okay, you are nappy-headed. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm doubting you. Give up these men, Miss Edwards, and we'll think about letting these charges against you slide. What? Yep. Charges against me? Yep. All I did was try and look out for Albert. Now he skips out and I have to take beatings from him as well? Yep. Oh, come on! Screw you off. Town, Miss Edwards? Yes, I'm going straight home. Um... All right, well, we will crack Candy Edwards, ha-ha, in the next part of this, uh, the setup, Vice Case. So, peace.